Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Daily Word. It's Thursday. Sorry, lost my... It's Thursday, February 18th. We are now in the season of Lent after celebrating Ash Wednesday yesterday. What you call that is celebrating, but we had Ash Wednesday yesterday. So hope you could join us last night for our worship together. If you couldn't join us, um, it's on Facebook, and you can go back and watch if you so choose. A reminder that Sunday is the first Sunday of Lent, and we'll gather for worship at 1015. And we also share in the Sacrament of Communion, so if you have some communion elements ready, crackers, bread, juice of any kind, and your candle, and your bulletins that will come in the email tomorrow morning, as well as music, and during the season of Lent, we're going to be using a creed every week um, to help us highlight our worship. This week, will you be using the Maasai Creed? And that will be in your email as well tomorrow. And you can download that, and we're going to read that together. And every week during the season of Lent, we'll be using a different creed, the Apostles' Creed, the Nicene Creed, a creed called the New Creed, the United Church of Christ Statement of Faith. Um, so... Um, be looking for those as well, and I, hopefully that will um, just engage us in our conversation about who God is as a reminder of God's presence with us in the season of Lent. <clears throat> so I've chosen for this morning the end of the scripture that I read last night, the third scripture that I read last night from the Gospel of Matthew. Um, and the verses that I've chosen are from Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 through 21. And Matthew says this, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And so, this is an interesting text for us to think about in the season of Lent. You know, often in Lent, um, we are called to give up something. So some people give up chocolate, some people give up coffee, some people give up, you know, going to certain places, some people give up social media, all kinds of things that, that we are called maybe to give up. If you're of a certain faith, you give up meat. Um, and so we have this idea about about what it means to give up something. And so, you know, there is an interesting part in this scripture for us this morning that talks about treasures on earth. Don't store up for yourselves treasures on earth. Now, we sometimes think of those things as material things. You know, if you were to go into our houses or to where we live, you might see that we have lots of stuff and stuff that we probably don't need. If you were like me, if you've ever watched American Pickers, um, sometimes Mike and Frank or whoever's doing the picking go into these places and they're so full of stuff that they can hardly walk around. And sometimes they have to climb up and down in the middle of all the places. And they <clears throat> find all of this stuff and then they make the owner of the stuff an offer and he says, I'm just not ready to sell. Or she says, I'm just not ready to sell. And they might ask them the question, are you ever going to get to that project? Well, no, but I'm just not ready to sell it. It's important to me. Now, we sometimes think as treasures on earth or think of treasures on earth as those kind of things, you know, that, that we hoard those kind of things and that we buy stuff that we don't need. And, you know, we're all, we're all guilty of it. I'm as guilty of it as anybody else. But Jesus, I think, in this text, really challenges us to something greater in our life about what it means to not store up for ourselves treasures in heaven. Now, Jesus didn't say, you know, that we couldn't have a cell phone or a computer or a car or a house, or that we couldn't buy gifts for somebody, or that we shouldn't save or invest for our retirement. He didn't say, he didn't say any of that. 
What he said to us, I think, and what helps the most for us to think about is way deeper than that. It's about storing up for ourselves, storing up for ourselves treasures on earth that dominate our lives. And you know, I think really what Jesus calls us to is so much deeper. I look around, I'm, I'm in conversations, I have conversations with different people every single day. Sometimes on the phone, sometimes via text message, sometimes via, via instant messenger, um, sometimes via Twitter. It just depends on what the conversation's about. And I have many, many, many friends um, over all these social media platforms and, and, and folks who text me along the way. And and, I'm, and I wonder sometimes about them because it seems for us in the climate that we're living in, whether it be the pandemic climate or the political climate that we're living in or the weather climate that we're living in, that we get so caught up, if you will, in our own stuff. And I think what Jesus challenges us to in this text is to not store up for ourselves anger and hatred and vitriol, to not store up for ourselves the things that divide us and separate us, but to find ways, you know, to store up for ourselves treasures in heaven. Now, it's true, as we live our lives, that moth and rust, we know, consume and destroy, and thieves can always break in and steal the stuff. And, and I think when we store all of these other things in our hearts and in our minds and in our souls, that what's stolen from us is the ability to live wholesome lives. I mean, there are so many days that I read things on social media from people, people who are friends of mine, people who I really like, and I don't respond to any of them because it doesn't do me any good. But what I really like to say to them sometimes is, do you know what you're storing up in yourself? Someone said yesterday they were leaving, they were leaving Facebook for Lent because all the hatred was driving them crazy and they may never come back. Well, I wanted to say to the person, boy, you know, do you contribute to it or do you, do you help make a difference? You know, I don't know that my little daily things that I post on my personal face, or even this 10, 12, 15 minutes together makes any difference for anybody ever. I just, I just don't know. What I do know is that words like that I try to share and pictures and memes and scripture and this that I try to share, not patting myself on the back, but what I try to do is counteract what I try to get us to do is to store up for ourselves these things. Because I'm convinced that the reason that we're so troubled sometimes is that we stored up for ourselves these treasures that we call treasures, this hatred of the other side, whatever the other side is, that we can't find real joy. The writer of Matthew who quotes Jesus says this at the end, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Where's your treasure? What are you treasuring in life? What's your treasure? Because you see, it really, as the writer says, it, it goes to our heart. So if we're treasuring hatred, or as someone else posted the other day, this mountain that they choose to die on, and it's a, a political person's mountain. I have to question what's in your heart, what's in our hearts. Because the treasure that Jesus calls us to is about living our lives in a way that makes a difference in the world. And that what we store up, what's in our heart, then is relayed to other people and given to other people. And that's how their lives are changed and affected so last night, um, as we, as I prepared for Ash Wednesday, yesterday, as I spent the day with Carter and Hudson and 
had fun with them as we played. And then they took a nap and then we played some more and we watched movies and all the things, you know, I think about them and my relationship with them as their papa. And I think, you know, what, what I'm trying to store up with them and for them in their hearts, in my hearts, I believe will will go with them forever. It'll always stay with them. Um, that their papa did that with them. And I think that's true in our society and in our world. You know, the difference we make in each other, the vitriol or the love, the hatred or the acceptance, the choosing of sides or the choosing of being together, it remains with us. And, you know, there's so much of this, so much of this going on in life that sometimes I wonder about folks who I really, who I really like, who've just chosen to take some darn sides that I don't understand. You know, we're going to have to have some serious conversation about what's in our heart and what we've stored up. Because I think we've robbed ourselves of joy and love. And so the season of Lent is difficult. You know, it's it's about sometimes giving up. It's about confession and repentance. It's about sharing our lives with each other. And I pray that that we might examine deep inside of ourselves what it is that we're storing up. And like I said, um, those hours spent yesterday with Carter and Hudson, I hope stored up something just a little bit in their hearts about who their papa is. And if we take that seriously in all of our relationships, um, the world that Jesus wanted us to live in will be a much better place. So let's find a way. Let's store up for things um, store up in our hearts things that make a difference with us and those around us. So I, I want to spend the season of Lent examining what I'm storing up. And hopefully um, what I'm storing up will make a difference in your life and in the lives of those I encounter. So I pray you'll have a great day. I pray you'll um, be careful Looking out my window, it's snowing. Another reason I'm home this morning because um, I just get a little nervous. Um, falling has already happened for me, and I don't want to fall again. And so I'm being really careful. And so I'm um, hopefully going to go to the office after a bit and get some work done. So be careful out there. Know of God's love, grace, and peace, and mercy in your lives. Um, store up for yourselves treasures that make a difference in your life and the life of others. Know of God's love and my love for all of you. And I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning on Friday at 10 o'clock. Have a great day.